This is Alain from Javelin testing the enhancements introduced by SOLIDWORKS 2016. In this video, I will push to the limits the new functionality for selecting internal loops inside the convert entities command. The case study is a panel that can change size. The outer skin has perforations and also the number of perforations is going to change based on the size of this skin. The inner skin, the green one, doesn't have any perforations at this time, but we desire to have the same type of perforation as you have on the red one. So let's give it a try. I'm going to edit the inner skin inside the assembly, and on one of its faces, I'm going to open up a sketch. Of course, we're going to use convert entities, but word of caution, if you are accustomed to pre-selecting faces, and after that running the convert entities command, you're going to get what you always do, which is just a projection of the outer edges. This is not what I want. I want to get the inner edges, all these, the loops around these perforations. So the trick here is to run the command first without any preselection, and that would give you more options when you select the face. You can see the property manager is still there, and this is what's new, the ability to, to select the inner loops. Instead of going them one by one, I'm just going to say select all inner loops. And you can see that those edges got projected on my sketch. And let's use the cut command to cut perforations in the green skin. But now, the moment of truth. Let's change the size of this panel to something bigger, maybe 36 by 30. And as you can see, the perforations that were done on the green on the red skin have not been recreated on the green skin in the way we expected. Only the loops that existed when I started the convert entity commands have been preserved which is a little bit of a, of a letdown for me. I thought that since I selected a face, regardless of how big the face becomes or how small the face becomes, SOLIDWORKS is going to recalculate those inner loops. It doesn't happen in SOLIDWORKS 2016. Fortunately, there is a nice workaround, because in SOLIDWORKS you can always get what you need. So allow me to try this again. I'm going to edit the inner skin, and this time I'm going to open up a sketch on the outside of the outer skin. Instead of running convert entities, I'm going to run the intersection curve, which is going to give me the intersection of the sketch plane with either this face or even better, the whole body of this outer skin. Always try to select the biggest entity when you apply commands. And the result is exactly what uh, we wanted. Maybe a little bit more because even the outside contour has been converted to sketch entities. I'm just going to delete the outside contour and I'm going to use this for a cut. Let's cut through all and let's see the result. So it looks good. Let's go back to the assembly and change again the overall size of this panel. Let's go smaller, back to 30 by maybe 22. And rebuild. And looks like it works fine. Let's try one more time to go up this time, 42 by 36. Rebuild again. And no problem, the green skin updates as expected. So remember, in SOLIDWORKS there is always a solution for any challenge.